all right guys welcome to the laravel react redux series and in this video we are going to talk about what are the requirements for uh what are the things that we need to install before using laravel react and redux together um maybe you have already installed but also i'm going uh, going uh, to have each and everything uh, okay so that uh you know newbie will be have easy uh let's do do this okay so let's let's see what are the requirements at first you'll need composer you have to go to get composer.org and go to download or slash download and you have to download depending upon your maybe you know your operating system or i don't know i have already installed it um from here and uh you can check your composer version in your terminal okay and also you can you can install git git for using git bash in your windows or use terminal in linux mac okay so let's see other thing uh, after installing composer uh we'll need jam to to run our project folder locally okay you can install depending on your os operating system in windows jam linux or uh, or you can use you know uh, cli command line interface uh, i've already installed it and um uh yeah i will install it and also you have to download node uh node package node and node package manager and you can check your version by node maybe dash dash version uh, or dash p i've already installed it uh i'm in linux so i'm going to my terminal by, by clicking ctrl alt t you can go to your command prompt if you're in windows and you can do node dash p or node double dash version all right so i have already installed it you can check the version if, it, if it's installed it will show all right it will show like node isn't defined or something like that all right and also you have to install npm okay and you can check npm version by npm dash b uh, i have already installed it yeah you can you can get uh, npm okay you can download it okay maybe i had gone to you can install node from node.js.org you can download from here this latest version lts means long term long term support okay and this is current so long long term support will be you know it is recommended so i have already downloaded it from cli but okay by apt install and for code editor my favorite is download uh, I mean Visual Studio Code. It is by Microsoft and is good. I'll say best. Okay, and you have to download from here. Okay, depending on your OS again. And after installing, you can you can see. Uh, uh, I have to show you some extension. Uh, you'll need Prettier to format your code. I have already installed this also, and also you'll need uh es6 uh es6 code snippet okay not this not this es6 react react snippets let's say all right um let's do react snippets all right this es7 react redux this snippets okay it'll 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 give a lot of easier easiness okay uh, when you are programming it'll uh for productive it'll increase our productiveness we can we can make functional component or class components very easily by uh, by just by clicking rcc or rfc rfce and clicking tab it'll give us that you know uh what they say uh, boilerplate okay so you can also do uh, these things okay we'll see later okay when we are doing that and let's let's open visual studio good for now and let's go to our laravel documentation and yeah you can you can see you'll need uh i am in version 7 uh you'll need php 7.2.5 at least and these things uh which comes actually in computer so let's uh after installing computer we have to do laravel installer you know installer to make a project folder you have to first install this package and and run this command okay 
run this command to make a laravel folder it will create a project using composer um, of laravel you know uh, and you can change this name to whatever you like so let's 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 do it okay uh, let's open uh, your stdocs inside your jam or if you're linux uh, open lamp or mamp whatever and we'll say uh, i want to open here terminal and i'll say composer create project and i'll say laravel slash laravel and our project name will be react no react laravel react redux all right and we'll say prefer dist for dist and hit enter it'll, it'll take certain time to make a folder okay and depending upon your internet speed um yeah and let's go over here and now we we, we have to have uh react as a front end let's search react scaffolding here it is and and there is a way how we can work uh i think uh i will just show you uh running localhost okay uh, our laravel folder in localhost and in next video maybe uh, i will show you uh doing uh react stuff okay like 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 arranging path okay using the route and and showing our uh react folder uh, i mean react react uh, as a front end okay uh also you can you you, can, you have to download react dev tools for chrome extension dev tool chrome extension okay um so you'll, you'll have here like this okay uh if you if if react you know if 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 something so, site is made with using react it will so a uh, light you know it'll glow okay and also you you will need redux dev tool uh i mean react redux uh, react Redux for Chrome. You can go here and download it. It'll show our all the state, okay? Actions and state. It'll be very easier. I can't imagine, you know, building React Redux side without this extension, okay? It'll make our work a lot easier. And I'll show you how it works. And it's 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 best, you know. I like it. Yeah, it'll show something like, this. and you can download it from. I have already downloaded, it, so it'll it, it it's saying remove. I don't want to remove. All right, all right. I have also this. Uh, so maybe our folder has been made. Let's see. Let's say yes. Yeah, and let's let's see what are our files. I'll make a bit bigger. So let's go inside this. We'll say cd Laravel React. Redux and yeah, and we'll say PHP audition serve to open it in our server and let let uh, let's start our jam. Okay, you have to start your jam. I have kind of this, and you may have a different one. Uh, all right, let's open localhost port 8000. This is for Laravel, and you can see this side over here. So in this video, we install our composer. Uh, Visual Studio Code, um, you know, and some extension in Visual Studio Code, um, and also React Dev Tool, React Redux Dev Tool for Chrome, and Jam, and also created a Laravel project folder and started in the browser. In next video, we'll see how we can we can have a React front end, okay? And we'll see how this will show. It is using this side is using React, okay? Uh, thank you guys. Uh, we'll see that thing in other next video.